Drawing with MapKit is a great way to underscore important locations. It allows you to incorporate direction. It also allows you to alter the map in ways that suits your use case. Sometimes you'll want to incorporate third-party renderings. Maybe you have a running app and you want users to draw routes on a map. To do this, you could create your own file format and push between devices, or you could just use GeoJSON. GeoJSON is a format for describing graphic features on a map as well as annotations. MapKit allows us to import it directly. First, we take our GeoJSON source file and use an MK GeoJSON decoder to parse the JSON. Once parsed, it will return an array of MK GeoJSON features. This object contains a geometry property. It's that property that we can use to directly draw on the map. iOS will then convert the GeoJSON objects into MK polylines, MK polygons, and all the various drawing objects that you can add to a map. You simply add the geometry to the map as an overlay and provide a renderer. Let's see this all in action. For our final demo, we're going to incorporate some custom drawing by incorporating GeoJSON. In our case, let's highlight some regions that don't have any interesting places in them. That way, when people look at the map, they can see at a glance which places have no locations. We'll do this for just a couple of regions, but in a real world application, this is a file you can host on a server and remotely update it as locations are added and removed. To demonstrate, let's open up geojson.io. So you'll see that we get ourselves a map. And this map we can drag around, and what we want to do is zoom in. We're going to highlight bits of New Jersey and Long Island. So we'll zoom into that region here. So what we want to do is create a polygon. So we can select this polygon here, click it, and then you can drag on the map where you want it to appear. Now we know, I'm scrolling in with my mouse wheel, we know that Manhattan has some locations in it, but let's outline Long Island. So I made my first click and you can see it has a line here. And then I can click here and I could be very meticulous about the landscape, but instead I'm just going to make this quick. And by pressing the middle mouse wheel, we can drag the map. Okay, when done, we can just double click and that darkens the region. So you can see here, we have Long Island selected and let's just add some parts of New Jersey. And that's what we'll do for now. So you'll see this on the map darkened like you'll see here. Okay, now that we have our JSON, let's select this here select all and control copy. Now we can return back to Xcode, select the model group and press command N. And we can just put this inside of an empty file. Call it map.json. Once the file is loaded, press command V to paste the file. And you can see all our coordinates are here. Okay, now we want to parse this. Open up mapviewui.swift. We're going to create a new function called parseGeoJSON, and this is going to return an array of MK overlays. So we can scroll down here, and we'll add it right here. The first thing we need to do is to get the URL of our JSON file.
Okay, so if we don't get the GeoJSON, then we'll simply error out. Now that we have our GeoJSON, let's create an array of MK GeoJSON objects. First, let's open the JSON file and then we'll parse it. And we'll use the MK GeoJSON decoder. We call in decode passing in our data. And if there's an error, we'll simply error out. Okay, now let's create an array of overlays. At this point, we can now loop through each item in our GeoJSON. Next, we'll get the feature from the GeoJSON. Remember, drawing on the map is only one part of GeoJSON. You can also pass annotations as well. Now we'll loop through the geometry contained within the feature, and if it's an MK polygon, we'll add it to our overlays. One of the great things when working with GeoJSON is that all the various drawing types match to MapKit's overlay types. In this case, we're just checking for polygons. Now we're going to return our overlays before the end of the method. Okay, now we need to pass in our overlays. Scroll up to the top. First, let's remove our fantasy overlay. And now we can add our GeoJSON overlays. Instead of calling add overlay, we're going to call add overlays. So that's it. Now we need to update our renderers. Scroll down to the delegate methods. And for this, we can cast this overlay as a polygon. And we'll delete this. We'll set the color to be red. And we'll add a stroke to it as well. We'll make the stroke color black. And we'll return our renderer. Now we already have a polygon now we already have a polygon overlay, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And that's it. Let's stop this and build and run. Okay, here is our app running. Let's now select another New York location and show this on the map. Now let's zoom out and as we continue to zoom out, you'll see that now we have Long Island completely blocked off and we have parts of New Jersey as well. And we have a nice red color with a black stroke around it. And this was all done by using JSON. So this is a great way to add interactive features to your map. Remember, you don't have to include the JSON with your app bundle. You can host it on a server and update maps dynamically.